friend of mine was having a birthday in Tom T. Hall at the time of storytelling. And uh, of course he got everything and I didn't know what to give him. And he always had a garden in the summertime. And he liked uh, new potatoes and little red potatoes. You know. <clears throat> and uh, he had them for breakfast and dinner or something. He just, <laughs> and he had them planted all the time. So I'm out walking one day, taking my dog for a walk, and I come across this stone, a little reddish brown stone, had a couple of little black indentations on it, kind of could have been eyes. So I thought that looks like a petrifying new painting to me. I mean, if you laid that in a box, you couldn't tell it, it was a stone. So I thought, well, I'll give him this, and I'll write him a poem called The Petrified New Table. <laughs> Says, I like new taters. They go through the majors. They're not anything you like to eat. Fresh pole beans, colored greens. Why, you can even cook them up with me. And when in harvest time, in your garden all the time, and you're reaping all that you sow, they're laid upon your board from the reddish to the good results from the garment to grow. Mm, they're a fine delight, and there's love in every bite, as on your palate the taste is savor. Mm, they're most unique, I know what I speak, for I go gardens too in love and labor. So for your next meal, though it's hard to feel, I send a new tater from my toil. And let me recommend this new tater you can rent, but only if you boil, boil, boil. Here's your golden light foot song in the key of G. I'm out of tune, but that's all right. Thank you. 
I love that country music of all kinds, actually. And I can't sing through my nose like Georgia do. <laughs> That's what I used to tell them down there when I played the Nashville, but I went on to say I can whistle through my bridges with the best. <laughs>